Navigate to the folder maps, the island sub maps, and in the folder data layers. Copy biome zones, dino spawns, editor tools, landscape, main map far, main map near, main map SFX, main map VFX, ocean, overworld global, PCG, persistent and supply crates to your mod folder. Create the data layer folder and move them inside. Navigate to the content folder and in search content, type uds underscore island. Place UDS underscore island and UDS underscore island underscore weather in the scene. I like to place most blueprints at zero for the location. But that's not necessary. By the way, everything we take from the content folder is because we can't copy them from the island, but don't forget to copy and paste all the settings in the details section. In the same content folder, search for day cycle, place day cycle manager in the scene. You will need to open another dev kit and load the island to copy and replicate some stuff from the map, from the island, copy ASA underscore global underscore post process underscore blueprint, seek underscore day cycle, UDS underscore exponential height fog underscore external, UDS underscore skylight and wind directional source, paste them in your scene with control V. Copy and paste all the weather underscore override underscore volume. But Copy and paste island ceiling bounds, island wall bounds and starting camera. Copy and paste dirt underscore plane and ocean fog underscore cylinder inverted underscore water plane. In the content folder, search for water plane and place BP underscore island water plane in the scene. Copy and paste the locations of the ocean from the island in your water plane. In the details, in the section water plane, search for no holes and select the mesh sm underscore ocean plane underscore no holes. Back to the island, copy and paste the ocean pp, then ocean underscore exponential height fog and ocean underscore fog cube. In the content folder, search for detritus and place BP underscore FX underscore underwater underscore detritus in the scene. Copy and paste all the ocean physics volumes, you might need to load everything on the island, if your PC can't, just load one region and copy the visible physics volumes, then, on your map just duplicate them to form a 6x6 square. Do not move them on the z-axis. Copy and paste nav mesh bounds volume, the primal recast will create themselves automatically. Copy and paste pp underscore snow biome. Copy and paste all the player start. Copy and paste benchmark cam and benchmark underscore test. In the content folder, search for grid and place BP underscore level grid in the scene.
set its location to minus 384,197 on the X and Y axis and minus 100,650 on the Z axis. Set the number grids at to 5 and number grids 0 also to 5. In the content folder, search for obelisk and place bp underscore obelisk underscore a, b, and c in the scene. Copy and paste the locations from the island for each obelisk. I like to place them in the exact location as the island and then move them later when I have everything else grouped with each obelisk. Copy and paste the obelisk zone managers. Then the SM underscore spawning pads. In the content folder, search for terminal and place tribute terminal underscore green, red, and blue in the scene. Copy and paste the locations from the island. Now, on the right side of selection mode, click on the second button and open the level blueprint for both your map and the island. Copy and paste all the variables. When it's done, compile and save. Now, copy and paste all the functions. When it's done, verify that everything is OK. As you can see, there is some unknown notes to fix, just look what they are in the island level blueprint. This one is the ocean PP volume.
Just drag and drop from the scene outliner. Hold Ctrl and drag the pin from the Anon node to the new Ocean PP node. Same for this one. This is the BP underscore FX underscore underwater underscore detritus. Drag and drop two of them. And replace the lines. For this one, you need to drag and drop BP underscore island water plane, dirt underscore plane, ocean fog underscore cylinder inverted underscore water plane and ocean underscore fog cube. This one is the UDS underscore island. Compile and save. Now, copy and paste from the island event graph. Start with the section UDS weather event sheets, then you can copy and paste everything else. I don't use the Ascend, Boss and Cave sections for now so you can skip them also, just because there is some nodes that can create errors because they are not in the scene yet, we will come back for that later. Of course we will use the cave system but that's for another video. Replace all the unknown nodes. When it's done, compile and save. You can now close the level blueprint. In the content folder, search for bind fluid.
place the BP underscore bind fluid sim buffer underscore global in the scene. Copy and paste all the settings from the island in the details section. Select all the data layers from earlier and drag and drop them in the data layers section. The data layers are pretty much the same as levels in UE4. They will contain all the meshes, foliages, dino spawns, etc., and will be loaded with the world partition when approaching a specific region in which they are placed in the world. In the content folder, search for solver and place bp underscore foliage solver underscore new in the scene. Copy and paste the settings from the island in the details section. Now, in the world settings, you just need to copy and paste pretty much every settings from the island. Now, on the right side of selection mode, click on the third button and open a CQ underscore island, select ASA underscore global underscore post process underscore blueprint in the scene outliner, right click the one in the sequencer and go to assign actor then click replace with selected, do the same with UDS underscore island, save and close the sequencer. For this last part, I will just group the obelisks in folders by color. That's it for this video, for the future videos, I will show how to make masks for the landscape, how to use the island landscape material, set up the ocean material, change the obelisk light position at night time. But let me know in the comments what video you want to see next. Bye bye.